All right, said so equal distance in time in the morning, then an hour lunch, New York lunch, and then an equal amount of time after that, okay? So I'm gonna zoom in here, and in your mind, I want you to think about that lunch hour, and this is always New York local time. So once we have this, I want you to think of this hour here, noon to one o'clock in the afternoon, New York time, that is a no trade time period. So you have your daily range on an intraday basis, all set up and laid out. So these are your boundaries. Your morning trade is between 8.30 in the morning, why? Because there's news events that come out at 8.30, all the way to noon, preferably around 11 o'clock. All right, so we're looking at prior to 8.30. What are you looking for? Well, prior to 8.30, if you look at that, we see this high here and the low right here. So prior to 8.30, in other words, to the left of that, on a 15 minute time frame, what's the most significant or obvious swing high and swing low? Swing high is this, it's a candle with a lower high to the left of it and a lower high to the right of it. Three candle pattern, okay? It does not matter if the candles are up or down closes. You're just looking for a swing high because above that's gonna be buy side liquidity or buy stops and a swing low prior to 8.30 that's a candle that has a higher low to the left and a higher low to the right of it. It's three candles. Again, it does not matter what the close of the candles are. It has absolutely no bearing on what I'm showing you here because the swing points are where liquidity is going to be placed. Okay. So once you have these levels on your chart on a 15 minute time frame, then you can drop down into your first lower time frame for entry. That's your five minute chart. All right. So now we have this old high back here. Look at this price right there. Okay, that's gonna be the uh, high price. On that particular candle right there, it's 45.14 and a half. This candle trades to 45.14 and a half. Exactly the same high. When we have that, but look closer, we have relative equal high, but we have it in multiple short-term highs that keep going higher. If there's three highs that go up like that, that's a classic three drives pattern. Uh, there's a book I really enjoyed when I was in the 90s uh, Linda Rashk and Larry Connors, uh, Street Smarts book, it helped me understand stop hunts. Okay, that means it's a swing high, a higher swing high, and a higher swing high. So it's three times the market kept pressing up. I like to see this pattern forming when there's an old high back here. Okay, on any time frame, it's universal. Okay, but if you ever start seeing these three drives up into an old high, you don't have to see that third high take out the old high. Because what it's doing is it's already pressing into running out liquidity. Every time it creates a swing high and it starts to go down, bears are trying to sell that. And they're putting buy stops right above the previous high. And they keep getting taken. So it's already building in liquidity. And informed investors, or quote unquote smart money, will be already establishing short positions. Then the market breaks. So now we have this previous high previous low. Now, if we did not, this is really important that you understand this part here. If we don't start seeing these higher highs forming and it's just one steady run up, then you anticipate a high like this to be taken out. And it doesn't need to be taken out by much. 